Hello everybody, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Last episode we found our way into this place and made it our own. We're now on the lookout for means to board up our windows. We have plenty of food here. And we can lock the door. Not sure how much that helps. A zombie tends to just break it down anyway. Don't think a lock on there is going to make it that much sturdier. In any case, yeah, we are looking for a way to chop down trees. We have a saw, but it's an axe we're missing this time around. So we could go forage and hope for some lumber that way. I suppose we could just break down doors, but I don't know. Seems like that's just going to get you more unwanted attention. And that's something we'd really want to avoid. I'm surprised we never did get around to just finding an axe, considering we've been to multiple construction yards and stuff like that. Um, let's head to the northwest for this one, actually. I also need to grab some food before we leave, so it's a good thing that we are actually on our way back already. Ominous music is ominous. Is that window not closed? No, it is. Okay. It just didn't look like it. Let's grab some chips. We got plenty of those anyway. Where's my food cabinet? There it is. Uh, grab... We'll take an entire box of cereal with us. Why the hell not? Okay. Let's have a drink before we leave too. We'll eat an apple before we leave. We'll eat two apples. All right. Let's go. Northwest. I suppose we could just stick to the roads, but... How big can a forest be anyway? I don't answer that. Hmm. <clears throat> Suppose if I do get severely lost, I could just check back on the recording to check on how I actually managed to get here. This is a big place. What is this? Is it a bar? Probably alarmed, right? No. Well, I guess maybe we do get lucky. Let's see what we can find in here. Seems rather empty. We could probably find some liquor here. Can I jump the counter? No. Nobody here. Let's try to grab as much building stuff as we can. Red metal sheet. Might be ways away from actually building stuff out of metal, but wood glue is probably good. We already have screw drives, we can always use more. Eat while we're here.
You got an axe. Nice. An axe and a bar. Cigarettes, darts, whiskey. Chardonnay for the more refined survivor. We're not a smoker, we don't need cigarettes. There's a lot of cigarettes here though, jeez. Yes, we're taking all the booze. <laughs> and nobody's gonna stop me. Well, not yet, at least. Thread. Newspaper, but we can't read. Let's not check the bathroom. There's no point in going in there. I think whatever came out of a... Bathroom. All right. Um, okay, I think we already head back in that case, and we start using that axe for what it's supposed to be used, namely chopping down wood, barricading our windows, and that should mean our place is that much more safe. The only thing we would then have to worry about is them breaking down our doors. But because we have carpentry, I think we could go scavenge for parts for another door. Which is kind of neat, admittedly. So we got an axe for chopping down trees. We got a saw for turning them into logs. And that's all we need. Cool. I think that's our place, right? I think at that point we just start looking for farming equipment. Alright, we need a place to store our booze. We'll store it in our next door bedroom. That makes total sense, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, alcoholism is no joke, people. Yeah, at least they aren't empty yet. Alright, once we're thoroughly unweighed down, we're gonna go out and look for wood. Most of this stuff can go in there. Okay, let's go chop some wood. We'll go far enough away from our house as to not attract any zombies to them. Or Zeds. I don't think it's Zeds. Wasn't Zeds used in um, Killing Floor? Ah, that was a fun game. Then the second one came out and it was just meh. At least that's how I perceived it. I don't know what your personal experience is with it. Uh, you are look shiny. Let's see if we can cut you down. Right. 
tree falls into the woods and there's nobody to hear it. But it still makes sound. Yes, you oaf, because sound does not exist or not exist based on if somebody can hear it or not, you dimwits. Two logs, is that all we're gonna get out of this? I seem to so mandate we a ton. I guess we could chop down trees closer to home, but again, I really don't want to make to make a sound. If it's only our movement speed that's reduced, then that's legitimately fine. Let's equip our baseball bat again in both hands. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go grab a saw and see how many logs we can, or how many 2x4s uh, we can get out of one. I see you there. Let's go take care of him after we've... Uh... ...ditched our logs. Let's put them on the floor for now. I really don't want you banging on my... Stuff, hey you! Hey! Hey! Bonk! Yeah! Yeah! Mmm! Aggression! Alrighty then. Where did I put that saw? There we go. Uh, grab all. Kind of hoping we can do that from our inventory. Log. Saw logs all. Cool. Next. We need... Let's put our saw back. We'll grab one hammer and nails. And start barricading. I think we still have more planks in our inventory. Right, um, is that it? We're still like tremendously overweight. No, we still have two. Okay. Can we barricade our door, or is it, or is it putting it over the window? See, that's what I don't. It's probably fine. Famous last words, right? And that's the last of our planks, it seems. Is it? No, we still have one more. Are we out of nails? Yes. Got a box of nails there. Grab one. Open box of nails. Give us another hundred. That's a lot of nails. I don't know what one person would do with so many nails. Okay, how many more do we need to do? So I can like kind of guess how many planks we still need. One. Two. I don't think we need to do the upstairs ones unless the zombies learn how to fly. So we need to go cut down one more tree. Put 
the nails with these for the time being. We have our axe with us. Let's take the saw with us too. I'm imagining the planks would weigh less total than the... Um, logs would. It looks like we can actually put more on, but I think three boards on each window would be a good start. Uh, let's take this tree. You have been selected to be part of my house. You said no. <laughs> I will not. Grab all. So 25 we got now. What if we immediately saw them up? Let's see if the weight goes down or up. It stays exactly the same. I'm surprised by your... Efficiency, shall we say. I don't think it's going to do much, but... It is bringing the weight down. Are we just dumping them on the floor now? Yeah, brought the weight down quite well. Okay. So we just need to grab nails again and then we can board up the rest of our window. Windows. It would be easy enough to spot which house we actually have to. to. It's probably one of the few boarded up ones. I've seen other boarded up houses, but uh, usually tragedy ensued in those. So we just need to make sure that we never leave our door open and all that cool stuff. Uh, nails. We'll grab half of them. That should be enough. We'll uh, unpack the logs. Alright, cool. We finally managed to sort of vaguely secure a house. It only took us nine episodes. <laughs> Hey, so I'm kind of still worried about that uh, door, though. Don't have the impression they might just. Hmm. There is one other thing we could try. And it's based on something I've seen whilst mucking around with. The sheets. We can make a sheet rope. I'm wondering if we can't put one like through this window. And use that as our way in and out. And then we can board up our door as well. Okay, so I think we can do one more plank on most of these, so I will go cut down another tree. It staves off our boredom and, you know, we probably level up one or two skills doing this. Let's eat an apple. Which I have no idea on where that comes. Did we just cut down an apple tree or something? See, this is what I missed on my first thing. There was just a little to no progress and now, you know, things just work out. Okay, grab the locks. Let's saw them up. She is 
really efficient with that saw. Not a bit goes wasted. Ah, oh, that was brilliant. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to do. Ah, Just wanted to... Put them in the duffel bag, but I was not equipped with a duffel bag because I had the... ...thing on. Thing also known as the axe in both hands. But that doesn't matter, I have the duffel bag on my back, so what am I saying anyway? Ugh. Ignore. I love how the floor can keep up to 50 weight. It's like, what happens if you go over it? Does the whole world get sucked into a black hole or. Uh, one, two, three, four, and I think that's all the windows downstairs. Yeah, that looks properly boarded up. I wonder if that means I can keep the lights on inside. Really no more windows here. That's good. Cool. All right. We have ourselves a safe spot. If we could just close our door, that would be ideal. Uh, let's see what we else we could potentially do with uh, carpentry. Let's ditch the stuff we no longer need. Put that in there. Saw can go in. Nails can go in. Axe can go in. Hammer can go in. Got an empty pop bottle, which we may be able to fill up with water. Ooh. Cool. We've got a spiked bat now. Should allow us to do a little bit more damage, I would imagine. The hammer can go. Can we fill up our empty pop bottle? Yep. Fill up the water bottle. All right, now let's see what we can do with crafting sheet rope. That's what I was talking about. We need clothing. Got a gunpowder, make mattress. I'm assuming this is for when you want to Build your own house or something. Farming, that's something we do need to look into. But we need a trowel first. So I guess that's something we could uh, look for. Let's see, carpentry. Build drawer. Make a bucket of plaster. Make four lock. Oh, we need rope and then we can... So what does this do? Lower the weight of rope? Uh, the rate of weight of wood? Guess so. Okay. Health. Clean bandage. Dirty bandage with water. Oh, we can disinfect bandages now. That's handy. Splint. I guess that's another use for our alcohol then. Good. Means I can state that I am not a drunk. <laughs> hey. I thought we could build like walls and stuff too, but might only 
known recipes. Yeah, we're missing a ton of recipes. Now by a ton, I mean like not too many, but still quite a few. All right, cool. Um, let's try making some popcorn again. I'm pretty sure we had some. Hey, she deserves a bit of a... Let's cook some salmon. She deserves a treat after the work she did today, all right? Let's turn on the oven first. It's 200 degrees for salmon. That's probably a bit much, isn't it? So let's put it on 250 instead. <laughs> the temperature thing is a little bit sketchy, let's say. Uh, let's put the salmon in the oven. So in the meantime, we can read a book, but unfortunately we are illiterate. You guys like salmon? I can appreciate it. Not a big fan of sushi, though. I don't know why, but... I like... There are certain fish that I do eat raw. I like stuff like shrimp and stuff, too, but... Somehow sushi is like... Mm, no thanks. It's not that I haven't... I didn't eat it before, I have tried it before, but either it was just prepared badly, or there's just not much taste to it. Which I'm inclined to believe because they do give like a whole bunch of spices to go with it. It's like here, have some ginger and wasabi, so just so you would have taste to it. I don't know, it might just be me. I might have just gotten bad stuff, but... Let's speed up time a little bit. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're still good, but I don't like that this thing goes off. Usually Salmon doesn't have to cook this long, but... Turn off the stove. Let's have some salmon with... Sure, let's just eat the salmon. There you go. Couldn't eat another single solitary bite. There you go. Alright, well, that is going to do it for this episode, though. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you still enjoyed the series. Feel free to show support by commenting, liking, and or subbing if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.